In the past, I've struggled with game jams that lasted between 48 and 72 hours. I start many but rarely submit a finished game. I found that longer jams that last at least a week usually suit me better. They give me a good chance to fully flesh out an idea and produce what I think are half decent games. So when it came to my attention from some friends on Discord that there was a 60 minute jam happening, I thought that sounded like fun and decided to give it a go. That doesn't make sense. The jam in question, the 60 minute jam was hosted by Dylan Smith, also known as Dev Dunk. It allowed us devs to make a game in any engine inside 60 minutes with the theme of madness. Extra time was allowed for planning, game builds and the store page. My idea at first was to make a simple game with the same dual mechanic as downwheel. You would traverse down a level and need to shoot down to propel the player up and prevent them falling to their death. The madness theme would come into it by having timid enemies scattered around the level that become mad and aggressive if hit by player bullets. <laughs> I started by making some placeholder art and wrote some player movement scripts that I adapted from some of my other games. Next I built out the room, fixed up some issues I was having with collisions and added projectiles. This is what I had so far. And with nearly half my time gone, this happened. I simply gave up. I just didn't see myself finishing and therefore I had been beaten by the challenge. Fast forward a couple of days and I started seeing a few more submissions roll in. This inspired me to give it one more go. My idea this time was to work on a Pac-Man style game but have enemies spawn out when you collect a certain amount of pellets. The idea was the further you progress in the level the more enemies appear, eventually leading to total madness. This time I did more prep by choosing a ready pellet and setting up a reference sheet with some common game maker functions that I'll probably forget under pressure and some stretch goals for the game if I had enough time. Again I started with some placeholder art and game objects for the player, walls and enemies. I then committed to creating the level which I knew would be quite a finicky process. So with more than a quarter of the time already gone, I thought I should actually get some code down. This time I used GameMaker's built-in movement variables to save time writing my own movement logic. What well, duh! 20 minutes gone and I had a level and a moving player. Next I added some collision logic, the ability to collect pellets, and enemy spawn with every 5 pellets the player collects. Here I stumbled across my first hurdle because the game kept spawning more player sprites, not enemies, and it wasn't for any clear reason. After losing a few minutes and killing my momentum, I soldiered on. Next was adding AI to the enemies. Now I use AI as a bit of a loose term here because all the enemies really do is go in one direction until they hit a wall and then just randomly choose one of the other three directions to go in. With less than 20 minutes to go, I added a super basic start screen where I hit another hurdle with fonts not behaving themselves. Next I created an epic end game screen that I put a ton of time against just for those epic enough to beat the game. Now with a playable game with an end state, a win state and less than 10 minutes on the clock I put my attention to creating some detailed art. With a few minutes left I attempted to get the enemies to collide into each other and change direction but ended up scrapping the idea at the last minute. In hindsight, this time would have probably been better tuning the difficulty as I hadn't tested if the game was beatable. So there we have it, I had a playable game with some of my stretch goals achieved. Following the jam period, we had some extra time for game builds and publishing to itch. Below is a link if you want to try it out. I have also put a full playthrough at the end of this video to prove the game is beatable for those interested. I wanted to say thanks to the other devs who encouraged me and tried out my game. I recommend checking out their submissions too so you can see what's possible in only one hour. I was super impressed what they achieved. If I could do this again, I probably would have tried to add some sound, slow down the enemy movement and add a score for each pellet collected so players could compare how they did. If you enjoyed this content, please give the video a like, put a comment down below and subscribe for future videos. Bye for now but stick around if you want to see the full playthrough.